Good evening YouTube. Another video back in the G. Um, today I'm doing a little different video. So I will be going to um, this local auction by me. Seeing if there's anything good. Seeing what the market looks like. Because I haven't been there since like six years. Me and my dad used to go. And he used to get cars, flip them. Um, yeah, we, got, we had a cool find. Um, I won the last auction we went to, which is probably like six, six or seven years ago. Um, we got a Eclipse GST convertible, uh, five speed, for seven hundred bucks. I pointed it out to him. I was like, "Yo, Dad, that's a that's a GST Eclipse," and it was like one of the last ones that were rolling up, um, going for auction. And it was just him and this old guy that didn't really know anything about it. So we got it for seven hundred bucks. Clean car. We flipped it. Made uh, sold it for like five grand or something like that. Made a huge profit. Um, and I haven't been there since. So. It's going to be kind of cool to see if there's anything good, um, what the general market is, because I think cars generally are going down in price. So, just going to do a little quick little video. Um, I'm going to drive down there. I haven't been in there, like I said, in six years. And we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. I want to know, I just hit 150,000 miles. Uh, I've been pretty smooth. been loving this car so far, and lots more to come. Just got here, but it sounds a bit, it sounds like they are already starting. But let's see what happens. Okay, so here we are. That's where everything takes place. Doesn't look like anything started yet. But let's see what we can find. Alright. Okay, first kind of cool find. Look at this uh, BMW. No key. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Some smoke occurred. Not sure from where, but someone was driving a car. Okay, this is what I want to see right here. This is a Mazda Speed 3. 113,000 miles. This is kind of cool. All right. I don't know if there's a key. I don't think they have keys over here. This sounds like there's something wrong with this one. We got here. Yeah, there was this car had a story before. There's other people around this car. As soon as I started it up, people started coming. So, yeah. I wonder what it's gonna sell for, but I have no idea. Interior is clean. Has 113,000 miles. I just know that these cars, you know blow up easily and I just kind of feel like there might be some sort of issue I personally want to buy it and I don't think it's gonna go cheap enough to where it'll be something I would want to buy either way but I have a cog intake right here probably makes some good power got this more power right here I want to wait till these people leave so I can give it a rev. But, yeah. Okay, here's this. This is a Corvette, right? They took the key. But, oh, you gotta have the key to get in. This Corvette has 257,000 miles on it. I looked on the website and it was crazy. So, oh, the Revenant. It sounds good. Um, but, you know, but yeah, 257,000 miles, it says it right here, and I looked on the, uh, the sheet, it does have 257,000 miles on it, pretty crazy, if you think about it, but, what's the story of this car, how does it have 257,000 miles, because that, 
best of the 2014. What year is it? Does it say the year? No. Okay, I'm gonna skip some of these cars and I'm gonna go back to where cars that I realistically can afford would be at because, like, look at this. Range Rovers, new Rams, new Mercedes Benz, new cars everywhere. Like, this car's gonna go for a few grand. I need to know where the cars are gonna go, where the cars are gonna go um, for under a grand, where those are at. Like that Mazda Speed 3, it's probably not gonna go for that. Because it looks nice, it's loud. Hybrid. Interesting. Let me see. This is kind of cool. If it's a stick shift. Is it a stick? No. Look what we got here. We got a... Oh, look, look, look at this. Look at this. G35X. Mm, some some uh, issues with that. Uh, issues with that. Probably was swinging it. Can I use anything off this car? First of all, there's no uh, headrest. Black interior, which I kind of like better. It smells very stale. They pulled the key. They pulled the key. Look at this. The paint's faded. Yeah. Same engine. It's seen better days. 186,000 miles. Only 30 more thousand miles than I have. It's in way worse condition. But there's also this one right here, which looks clean. See, this man is going to drive it around the block. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to drive these cars around, but they do it anyway. Um, Honda Fit with some wheels in the back. Well, it's got all four wheels. That's cool. Is it a stick? Ugh, oh, it isn't. How many miles is it having it? 183. I bet this thing will keep going. 100%. Look at this. This was modified at one point because this is a whole. See, all these, sto all these cars have stories as to why they're here. And that's what it looked like at one point. That's pretty cool. I mean, but he was modifying all automatic, so I understand why I got rid of it. Again, we have all these new cars, new cars, new cars. When I worked down at Avis, um, I was told some information. And some of that information was a lot of these, uh, those rental car companies were actually buying cars from the auctions. So we had a few like rental cars that um, you would see like modified a little bit. Like they'd have a lip kits or something on that or like wheels or like badges because they were cars that um, were bought from auctions and that's what kind of drew up the uh oh that was partially a reason um why the used car market went crazy because all these um because there was no new cars because of chip shortage and then these rental car companies were buying up these um cars from auction driving up the prices prices so you know dealers couldn't get their hands on it and then the public we couldn't get our hands on it either interesting so yeah, but now it should be like a more normal price, hopefully. I'm gonna look at this Civic over here. Cause I do like Hondas and I would like to get a Honda again. But all these are automatics. Where's the good old fashioned uh, stick shoes? Look at this, this thing's gonna, it's gonna turn on. Oh yeah, this thing will turn on. Not my car, I could do that, but let's see. Yeah. You need the code to get the radio to work. So far, nothing's really interesting to me. Is a Maxima or Ultima? Cool wheels. 
but I mean, yeah, I just I I can't stand those cars. Even though I own a G35, it's it's a different car. Same engine, but it's a different car. I can't stand those cars. Look at this. See, mine was an Arrow. This is just a regular, and I bet it's automatic too. Wait a second, we got a stick shift here. Ha 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 Look at that. Oh. See, my car was the automatic turbo, and this is the stick shift non-turbo. Like, how do I move the seat up? Okay. See, my personal keys are falling out. And my wallet. So I gotta make sure I have those because I don't wanna come home and not have that. So Alright. 171. I'm literally so certain that when my sob, the engine went on that, it was literally 171,000 miles on it. Um, but yeah. Let's uh Do you hear that? See, this thing is a little, that transmission. I don't know if that's gonna. Let's hear it. <laughs> that, that sounds like a Subaru. Mm -hmm, this thing's gonna be a little sleeper. It has some uh, quirks. Um, let's see. That seems to work. I actually want to see if I can move it because this this shifter has a lot of play in it. Let's see. I've never driven this car with a stick. Like I've never. Let's see. Yeah. Where's our horse? Is it? Oh, that's so intriguing. <laughs> this is like a stupid little winter car. Oh, that's so intriguing. So if you followed me long enough, you would know that I had a 2006 Super Impreza. That was my first car. It was automatic. And... Then after that, the second car was a 2006 or 2005 Saab 92X Aero. Automatic, turbo. Basically WRX, that's what these are, WRX wagons. But I never got a stick, and I really wanted a stick, and that's why I ended up selling that car. No, I ended up selling that car because it, it blew up. The engine went, and I was coming home from a basketball game, and I was like, I just want a stick, so I got my Honda. But, man, I love this little thing. Oh, I love these little even though it's not the turbo, it's not the turbo, which, and it probably was owned by someone like, how do you open the trunk? It's not, you gotta pop it? I don't remember having to pop the trunk. I think that trunk's, oh, this is disgusting. That's, that's gross. Um, oh. Memories. Oh, I was. I know this thing's probably problematic too. Oh, I would drive this though. I would drive this right now. I would drive it right now. Oh. All right. Found some more hidden gems. We got the owner's manual from 2000. Wait a second. We got the uh, service history. Now I, I work in the service. Uh, I'm, as, I'm a service advisor right now. And look at this. Wait, what's the most recent uh, service? 2016. So whoever owned this car was writing in the service book. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at that. See, you never know what you're finding these little auctions. 
They, and they have the whole pouch for it. Look at that. They got the owner's manual. They got it all, really. This is a diesel. 335D. I don't know much about BMWs, but oh, they pulled the key. I know these people like to steal these BMWs. I'm just not really much of a fan. And I'm gonna keep moving on. These wheels are interesting. Very of the era. Look, this man just driving. You can't drive these cars around like this. <laughs> the TSX. Let's see if it is a. No, it's automatic. This one's locked. I always watch these videos like these Japanese people or the, pe the Japanese auctions and they'll um, be walking through these auctions and people are always like, oh my god, I can't believe you, you passed that car. I can't believe you passed that car. That car is such a cool car. And I don't know. Oh. See, I'm not passing this. This is cool. 300 ZX. Oh. And it's a stick shift. I mean, it's seen better days, but like, look at this. Let's see. Oh, this caught my attention immediately. I have to see. Okay, so it has power seats. They don't seem to work. Now let's see. Doesn't seem to start either. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Nope. Must I don't have I don't have a battery charger with me. So Oh, uh, this thing is so cool. I was scared, I thought I was pulling this to pull open the door. I almost could have got stuck there. This thing is so old. But it's cool. Look at this. Classic. I mean, it's definitely seen better days. It's... I don't even know how to open the hood up. Anyways, it's cool. Cool that it's a stick shift. Don't know if it starts. Um, I wouldn't probably buy it, honestly. But it's cool that it's here. And it's not like in a junkyard rotting away. I've been here before, like years ago when I was last here. And there's been some great cars I've seen go for auction. There was a blue, I remember it was a blue 5th gen Honda Prelude. Went for like $1,000. 6 speed or 5 speed. And I, I remember that I was like, you should have got that car. And I was like, yeah, we should have got it. But we didn't. You're not seeing that. I'm not seeing it today. I'm not seeing that like little fine, like, oh, let me, let me uh, grab that up real quick. No. Because I've already walked it back here. I don't know if these cars are going up for auction today either. I think it's just these main ones. I think I've walked pretty much all around. So. Look at how all the dashes work, or the dash light works. I'm jealous, I'm jealous, but not of this steering wheel. And not of the smell. Just smells, just, and apparently, wait, wait. Apparently the screen's not working. And I don't know what model this is, but it does not have, every, must be a newer model or something because everything is just kind of like off a little bit to me. Like these, I you know, don't have a snow mode. I don't have cup holders either. Interesting. This is the same though. I'm trying to think, does it have cruise control? Oh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the uh, adaptive cruise control I have. So my car is a higher model. Um.
Is this a 3.5? Oh, maybe it's a G37. I think it's a G37. I think it's a G37. I debadged it. Because this is a G35 right here. And I was in that one earlier. Yeah. But, yeah. G37 with uh, less, less stuff, I guess. It's been through it. This is interesting. I'm guessing it's a SI. But, with this awful wrap on it. With some goodies in the back right here. What's good? We got some missing. We got a bunch of parts back here. So, what is this right here? This is some body pieces. Oh, oh yeah, and grill. Yeah, hey, we got some parts in here. We got some parts in here. Let's see if I can open the trunk. Hmm. whole bunch of parts. Alright, so basically there wasn't really anything there. Um, it's going to be a short video. I thought there would be more in there, and there's pretty much nothing. Um, so, things that were changed, that little drive bay, the garage looking thing where, you know, the auctions are being held, and the cars, they're not, they used to drive the cars in there, and then people would bid on it that way. So I thought, okay, there's no cars driving there. So obviously they haven't started it yet. I'm like, I'll make good time. I find out that they've been actually doing it since 2.30. And most of the cars have already sold. So most of the cars are already, I mean, like they're still finishing up now. Um, there's still cars that were being sold. You know, I don't know if they started 2.30, but they were already in the process of going. And so, you know, that I know one thing that, Corvette with 257,000 miles. Someone paid 20 grand for that. Um, but otherwise, I didn't really feel like sticking around because um, I didn't know if certain cars sold or not. And yeah, so that's going to be the video. Quick little video. Um, yeah, because I got to get home. That's going to be the end of the video. Um, like I said, I hit some miles. Um, but look, like, look at this car though. Like, she may be a little dirty, but look how clean she looks. Look how clean she looks. That's a clean car.